you know, I, there's a lot of coaches and mentors and people offering programs and different packages and things online. Um, have you ever purchased any of those or, you know, downloaded anything and, you know, you don't really have interaction with the coach per se, you just do their program. Have you ever done anything like that? I've done Joe Vitale. I, I even forgot the woman's name. I've done that. Uh, I've done Feng Shui. I've done astrological reading from different people. Uh, I've hired life coaches. Uh, what else have I done? Oh, Reiki Masters, Theta Healing, uh, Past Life Regression, an ashram, Hypnotherapy, uh, an ashram that I can't name it because then they'll kind of kick my ass. Uh, so, oh my lord, just while talking I just realized that I've spent about nearly 300,000 dirhams. Oh wow. And I was in debt. That's like a thousand, uh, that's like a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, and, and the, the frustrating point was, you know what, take my money, uh, take my left arm, it's fine, give me the results, you can take my life, I mean, you can take my money, I'll make it back, uh, but don't take my, my hope away, and when you're selling me garbage and shit, you're taking my hope away, the only thing that I'm sustaining to, to survive the, uh, the issues that I'm going through is hope that this is real this will work I'll give you more money but please make it real don't fool me and for 300,000 dirhams and four and a half years I've been sold garbage just pure garbage and again I'll tell you if something that saved me is your work you go to a personal trainer he will kick your ass but at the end of the day you will see result the personal trainer who's going to kiss your ass and say that you're a sweetheart, you're going to remain fat or out of shape for the rest of your life. Or you just feel down. good. It was hopeless. That's the most frustrating part. It was really hopeless. Wow, I, I, I'm, I'm so touched, Manju. Um, I'm in gratitude for you. That one, you've realized that there is a lot of noise out there and there is a lot of unscrupulous marketers. Years ago, it was in 08, where I had the vision, you know, I was asking what was 2012 all about, and, and my guide said to me, <clears throat> you know, imagine today you're a caterpillar, and tomorrow you're a butterfly. So I pondered that, and I still ponder that, you know, what would that experience be like, translate it to a human experience. But more than that, the being said to me, my guide said to me, and beware, there will be many charlatans among you. And that often comes to mind, you know, because there's a lot of slick marketers out there and people with deep pockets and big budgets. And that seduces people. In yours, the only thing that I could say is that it's not just a meditation. That is what spiritual work is. It's beyond body. There's something that you do, whether you call it vortexy. I'm not equipped to, to explain it technically, but it does something. Magic, and I've, that's I've, what it is. <laughs> you know what? I don't want to use the word magic. I want to explain to people because 